let's see light operating switch okay now light operating switch we have an LDR light dependent resistor uh, light dependent resistor let's go back to the light dependent resistor okay just now I think I have skipped so the potential divider contains a light dependent resistor or a photo resistor okay now for this light dependent resistor its resistance will change according to the presence of light uh, for example in darkness there's no light totally no light the resistance of uh, this resistor is about 1 million ohm mega is million uh, okay so it's 1 million ohm if there's no light 1 million ohm but if light is present around this resistor okay the resistance of this LDR will fall to just a few hundred ohm. From one million, it will drop to a few hundreds, let's say five hundreds. So the resistance of this resistor depends on the light. A dark place, resistance is very high, yeah? okay? And bright place, the resistance is very low, okay? And you must remember this uh, for you to understand the light dependence uh, resistor. Or the automatic switch uh, to switch on the light let's see how it works eh? uh, first of all okay you see there's only one current source eh? so the currents it flow this way the currents go up come here okay go down go down and go down or it go to come here go down go here it split okay it split okay go here and this one go here go here and go here okay so that's how the current flow eh? now the problem is the currents flow around this bulb here okay is controlled by the currents at the base right if you still remember the current at the collector is controlled by the currents at the base if the current at the base is zero then here also zero or the, if the current here very low okay zero or very low eh? okay then the current here is also very low then the bulb does not light up so only if the currents at the base here is higher then the current at the collector is high and then the bulb light up okay so always remember the collector is controlled by the base huh? so the higher the current in the base the higher the currents at the collector if you want this bulb to light up then we want the current here to be large okay the current here must be big enough yeah, if the current here is big, then the bulb light up. If the current here is uh, very low or almost zero, then the bulb uh, does not light up. Okay, but how do we control this current here? Okay, how do we control this current here? There's no real stat here, okay, for us to control the current. So how? Now the current is controlled by the potential divider. These two, these two resistor. Okay, now how these potential dividers? This, this potential divider control okay now let's say this this cell okay this cell is uh, 12 volt 12 volt cell 12 volt means from this point here to this point here is 12 volt eh? okay it's 12 volt okay it's 12 volt and this 12 volt is shared by these two resistor right according to this the law of potential divider eh? So this 12 volt is shared by these two resistor. Now, how they share? Okay, how they share? They share according to the resistance. Huh? Let's say at a bright surrounding. Okay, at the bright surrounding. So that means that here is very bright. Okay, so at the bright surroundings, the resistance of LDR is high or low. The surrounding is bright, so the resistance of LDR is high or low. Low. Eh? Okay, low usually just a few hundreds huh? so it's low and it's uh, just a few hundred let's say it's just 500 500 ohm so if this is 500 ohm and this is 10,000 ohm so this one is uh, the, the resistance is very small right? this one the resistance is very big okay so if these two resistors share this 12 volt you will find that the voltage here okay is uh the v here is almost 12 and the v here is almost zero okay why because the resistance here is much higher than the resistance here and just now we learned that higher resistance 
higher voltage. Eh? So this this twelve volt, all this twelve volt, it will go it go to, uh, it go to the base. Eh? Okay. So the base voltage, eh? the base voltage will be high. Okay. There's a high base voltage. Eh? Okay. Because the resistance here is much higher than the uh, LDR. Okay. Now when the base voltage is high. Uh, or, the, or the potential difference is higher, then the current is also higher. The current is also high. And if the current is at the base high, then the currents at the collector will also high, right? Because the, the collector is controlled by the base. Eh? So the current in the base is high, then the current at the bulb is also high. And then the bulb light up. Okay? So for this circuit, eh, at bright surrounding, at bright surrounding, the bulb will light up. When the surrounding is bright, the bulb light up. Then how about a dark surrounding? A dark surrounding, the resistance of LDR is very high. Okay? It's almost one million, sometimes even more, okay? One million ohm. Now if this is one million ohm, eh, the LDR is one million ohm. Here one million ohm. Eh? Here one million ohm. Here ten thousand ohm. So you see, the resistance here is much higher than this one, okay? So if this is 12 volt, so here you, you will get approximately 12 volt. Eh? Here you will get approximately 0 volt. If the base here, the base voltage here is uh, almost 0 volt, eh? so it's uh, low, okay? It's very low. If, if the base voltage is very low, then the current is also very low. Eh? Okay, so the base voltage here very low, then the current here very low. If the current here very low, then the bulb does not light up. Okay, so means that this light, this bulb will light up at bright surrounding. It will light up in the bright surrounding, but uh, it will switch off in the dark surrounding. Light up in bright surrounding and switch off in dark surrounding. Why? Because at bright surrounding, the, the voltage here is high, then the current at the base is high, the bulb light up. But at dark surrounding, uh, compared to this one, okay, this one, the resistance is very low, so therefore the voltage here is also very low. So if the voltage here is very low, then the current here is very low, and the bulb uh, does not have sufficient current to light up. So this design uh, is for uh, the bulb light up when the surrounding is bright. We have 12 volts, so these two resistors share the 12 volt. Okay, if the base voltage, the, if the, here the resistance is higher compared to this one, okay, you can just see one one resistance. Eh? See, you must compare both. So then you compare. Okay, this one they say 10 kilo ohm, this one million ohm. So 10 kilo ohm much lower. So the the base currents will be very small, and then this part does not light up. So that is how we analyze the circuit. Eh? Okay, we reverse this two resistor. What will happen? Okay. So now this one, the LDR is below. Uh, okay, and there is this resistance is here. Okay. So tell me, at bright surrounding, bright surrounding, the resistance of the LDR is uh, high or low? Bright surrounding, low, right? Bright surrounding, just a few hundred ohm. Uh, okay. Base voltage will also be low. Okay. The base voltage is low, then the base current is also low, then the bulb does not light up. So at brightness, it switch off, okay? A bright surrounding is switch off, okay? Dark surrounding, dark surroundings, the LDR will be high, okay? Dark surrounding, eh? LDR will be high, the base voltage will be high. And the base current will also be high. If the base current here is high, then the collector current here is also high, then the bulb light up. Uh, so this bulb light up when the surrounding is dark. The previous one is uh, the bulb light up when the surrounding is bright. Okay, this one the bulb light up when the surrounding is dark. Okay, so that is how a light operating switch work. Huh? Okay, what are the questions that may be asked? Okay. Of course, first they will ask you, okay, they give you this uh, circuit, they will ask you, okay, will, will this light up when the surrounding is bright or will this uh, uh, switch off when the surrounding is bright, okay? 
So the first thing they will ask is this, okay? Second is uh, they would like you to uh, calculate the voltage here, okay? Calculate the voltage here. For example, sir, if this is 12 volt, uh, 12 volt, okay? So this one is 10,000 ohm. Okay, let's say the LDR is 5,000 ohm. Okay, 5,000 ohm. So this, uh, then they will ask you, what's the voltage across the LDR? Okay, they want you to calculate the voltage. Yeah? So the voltage is equal to 5,000 divided by, okay, divided by the sum of these two, uh, 10,000 and 5,000 together, 15,000. Divided by 15,000, and then multiply by the 12 volt. Uh, then, then you get the answer. So sometimes they may ask you to use the potential dividers uh, methods, uh, okay? to find the voltage across the LDR or the voltage across this 10 kilo ohm resistance. That's the second question that may be asked. The third question is they will ask you, what's the functions of this one kilo ohm? Just, just now we just use this two to control, right? We use this two to control the voltage, okay? So what's the functions of this one? Now, if you don't have this uh, resistor here, okay? this switch is still functions normally okay it can still functions normally yep even though without the resistor okay but there's one problem here if the current here is very high okay let's say the current here is 2 ampere okay if the current here 2 ampere it may produce a very very high current here okay uh, let's say the amplify amplification factor is 50 Okay, then you are going to have 100 ampere here. Okay, this 100 ampere and 2 ampere go into the resistor, it will burn the resistor. It will burn the resistor. Okay, so that's the problem. Okay, that's the problem. If the currents at the base here is too high, okay, it will cause the bulb and the transistor to burn. Okay, and to avoid this, we put a resistor, okay, of 1000 ohm. Eh? So 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 if we have this resistor then the current here won't be too high okay after passes through this uh, resistor the current won't be very high eh? so this is to prevent a large current flow into the base and burn the transistor that is the functions of this uh, resistor okay so this can also be asked in your exam eh? okay what's the functions of this resistor to prevent large currents flow into the transistor and burn the transistor so usually this is what will be asked eh?